up it's Nick here and in today's video I'm going to give you guys a short little uh, answer back video to a question that I got on Twitter yesterday. So yesterday I tweeted out that I just linked my Google Plus and my Twitter accounts together so that whatever I post to Google Plus will automatically go to Twitter and I was getting some uh, requests saying how do I do that connecting Twitter with Google Plus and uh, I said that I would make a video about it. So connecting uh, Twitter and Facebook with Google Plus it's not something that you can do really easily considering the fact that Google Plus is still not released completely to the public yet. You have to have an invite to go to Google Plus, but it's not like something where you can like link Facebook and Twitter together. Like to link Facebook and Twitter together, all you need to do is you need to go to the Twitter pages application and you basically just need to go to their app and then link your Facebook and Twitter accounts together via right here. So as you can tell right here, I have my Facebook and Twitter accounts linked right here but you can't really do it with your Google Plus account that easy because as I said before it's not released completely to everyone and they haven't really made a Facebook or Twitter application like that yet. So how do you do it? Well I did it with an application or an extension for Google Chrome called Start Google Plus. You can find it at startgoogleplus.com. I'll post the link in the video's description. So basically what this does is it's an add-on for your web browser whether it be Firefox, Safari, or Google Chrome. You can download the extension here and it even has a whole bunch of cool stuff here telling you exactly what to do on the website. Like as you can see here you can even sign up for a Google Plus invite right here. So if you guys want an invite to Google Plus, you can just go ahead and go to startgoogleplus.com and hopefully get an invite by going right here. And then it'll give you all the instructions and blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, download the extension for Google Chrome. I'm going to click add to Chrome and then it should install and once it's finished installing it appears right up here in our uh, menu bar up here. So as you can see it brings us up to this Start Google Plus uh, Welcome to SGP. Blah, 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 blah. and I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys uh, how to set it up. So as you can see here I have my uh, Google profile right here with my Google Plus profile. If you guys want to add me on Google Plus feel free to go ahead and uh, click the link in the video's description to be taken to my Google Plus page. So what you want to do once you go ahead and uh, start up this is you want to click on the little icon up in your uh, status bar or wherever you keep your extensions and we want to go over here as you can see there's an option to sign in with Facebook and an option to sign in with Twitter and as you can see here this automatically detects that this is your Google Plus account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign in with Twitter and then it'll bring me up to this little window right over here which will allow me which will ask me if I give permission to Twitter to let me go in. And then it'll give me this little thing right here that says validated login and login and all that stuff. I think it was cut off the screen of the recording, but um, you guys will get my point. So as you can see, if we click up here now and we go to Twitter, as you can see here, it says Nick W324 on Twitter. You can go ahead and uh, check or uncheck these check marks over here if you guys want to go ahead and... Uh, uh, you know, do all that stuff. So it says multi tweet went over 140 characters. So if you guys know, Twitter only lets you post uh, 140 character messages. And multi tweet basically, if you go over 140 characters, it will basically just um, multi tweet and it'll like send out two tweets rather than one. So I always keep that check marked. And it also says here merge feed with main Google Plus feed, show friend underneath Sparks, blah, 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 blah. And you can even go ahead and post only to Twitter right here. So this doubles as a Twitter client. So if you don't want to post something to Google Plus, you can post it directly to Twitter from here. So let's go ahead and do the same with my Facebook account. So I'm just going to go ahead and connect with Facebook, click login, allow to use my information, sign my life away, blah, 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 blah. And it will bring me to the validating login screen again. And now I'm logged in. So now we can go up here, go to my Facebook account, show Facebook notifications. No, God, I hate Facebook so much. And you can do the same thing with Twitter here. You can post only directly to Facebook, but I will probably never do that. It says locate Facebook friends on Google Plus. Um, I'm pretty sure none of them are on there. And all the same is here and then you can go ahead and access the main window from here. But how exactly does this work? Well, as you can see here, if I want to go ahead and go to the stream, as you can see now I have two little icons, toggle Facebook sharing and toggle Twitter sharing. So as you know, you can go ahead and add people through your circles, so only people from your circles can see the stream right here. Well, if I want to go ahead and post stuff from my, uh, it's just 
no, no, hold on. It treats Facebook and Twitter like it's a separate circle. So if I want to type something and post it to Google+, I can go ahead and check mark Twitter, so it'll send it to Twitter, or I can check with Facebook and send it to Facebook. However, I never have Facebook check mark because I already have it set so whatever I post to Twitter automatically goes to my Facebook. So I pretty much have it set so everything I post anywhere on the web automatically just gets dumped to Facebook because I hate Facebook so much. But if I want to go ahead and type something, I'll type... Uh, I'm making a video I'm making a video on how to link Google Plus and Twitter. As you can see, I'm sending it to all of my circles and to Twitter. So I'm going to click share and then it'll go ahead and post here to Google Plus and then it should post to Twitter via this little thing right down here that's off to the side of the screen. But let's go to Twitter, twitter.com and as you can see here I'm making a video about how to link Google Plus and Twitter. We go over here and it says send via start Google Plus which is pretty pretty cool and we got a new tweet blah 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 and it should automatically go to Facebook. Yes right here to Facebook because I have it set to Twitter. But that's how you do it now. Now what it should do is it should go ahead and merge your Facebook and Twitter uh, feeds, like all of your Facebook friends and all of your tweets should appear in the stream. It'll take a little while for that to process though. So uh, let me just go ahead and see if I can enable that up here. Turn. Hmm. Yeah, I think they did show up. As you can see here, I have my uh, Twitter friends right here. As you can see, this one's from Twitter, this one's from Twitter. All of these are from Twitter. <laughs> I don't see any Facebook ones. Ah, here, here are some Facebook ones. Blah, 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 blah. I hate Facebook so much. But anyway, that's pretty much it. All you need to do to link your Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus accounts together is download this application up here, which is called Start Google Plus. You can use it in your web browser, whether it be Google Chrome, Safari, or Firefox. This will not, however, work on your mobile phone, however, because Google Plus is still. Google Plus and it's not available to a full public yet, so they don't have a mobile phone version. But if you guys are using Google Chrome, Firefox, or Safari, this should work fine for you. Okay, so that's it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. If you guys want to add me on Google Plus, the link will be down below in the video's description. I hope some of you add me on Google Plus because I don't have any friends on here. But yeah, that's it for the video, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.